guys, Double Wide Six, and today what I'm working on is uh, I have this 10 pound ABC uh, fire extinguisher, and it's it's past date. The uh, date on this thing says May 2nd, 1985. So it's kind of past its time, and it it says that there's zero pressure in it. So uh, I can feel. There's still dry chemical in here. It feels heavy at least, or uh, up, or this thing's pretty thick metal. Um, seems like it's pretty well made. But uh, what I was thinking is I would play around with this thing, and uh, I'd, I'd like to make it uh, a water cannon that could be used to put out fires, possibly. Um, this would work good on uh, like an outdoor fire. We burned some trash here, and... Um, you know, it, it wouldn't be bad just to have outside, you know, when I'm doing welding projects on lawnmowers and things like that. Um, I, I just ordered another ABC fire extinguisher for my shop. I have uh, two in the house as well. And uh, this one's just going to be water filled. And maybe it'll just be a toy for the kids to play with. Uh, I, I don't really know. We'll have to see how it works. And I'm not sure how long it'll actually hold the uh, air pressure inside if we can get it pumped up. So stay tuned. Here's my brand new one. And you can see that this thing's all plastic. And it's a shame that they won't refill this one because, uh, you know, it's, it's heavy duty. I can just tell by the weight of it, the hose, and the fact that all this is metal. And looking at this thing, there, there's no like uh, hex nut going around the top here. So I was thinking I could probably put like a, a pipe wrench on this thing. But uh, another option is to, I could grind off these rivets and look like I could get inside here. Um, I might be able to just put this on here. Yeah, I might try, actually, if I try it from this side. Yeah. I think that'll work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and loosen this up. And as I said, there's, there's no power or pressure in this unit. All right, we got it turning, and since there's still powder in here, I'm going to take it outside. Looks like it's filled about three quarters of the way. So the next step I cleaned all the powder out with some water and stuff and now I got to make a way to pressurize it. So I'm thinking just a standard Schrader valve from a tire. And I need to make sure that when I screw this thing on it doesn't hit the handle or this uh, gauge here. So I'm going to try and put it here. It's going to be a close fit with that handle. So I, I think right there is a good spot. And I'm just going to drill a series of holes in this thing. Bigger each time. That wall thickness looks about a sixteenth of an inch.
I just got to figure out how wide this thing is and then uh, get the right size bit. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to file the burr off the edge. That worked pretty well. The back of the file, this is used for deburring as well. So we'll twist this around. This will knock off some of the stuff on the inside. The, Burring. If I could find a file that'll fit in there, I might be able to pull it up backwards. And so I want to try and drop a file in here. I found one that'll fit, but I can't quite pass it through to that hole. So I'm going to run a wire through here like that and I'm gonna try and tape the end on here or something well my wire may just make it well I see it but what I need is needle nose pliers I think Alright guys, so now I gotta get this valve in here. So uh guess we'll take the wire and we'll tape it onto the valve. This tool is a valve stem puller. So I'm just threading that on. And I'm going to put a little uh, just a shot of silicone on there. That'll help it slip in. I think my hole is undersized a little bit. I'm going to need some leverage for this. That's it. Popped right through. All right, guys. So uh, <clears throat> I filled this thing up a couple times, and I've just been uh, modifying the design a little bit. So you can see I cut a notch here and this hose is easily removable and I put a new o-ring on here 
But uh, I cut this notch so that I can spin this thing down without hitting the Schrager valve. I guess if I wanted to, I could keep that right in there. It's just about where it stops. Eh, we'll move it over. Snug that up. Alright, so... Uh, I'll take this thing out and show you how it works. Well, at least it doesn't leak. Alright guys, we're going to show you how this thing works. That cherry tree is about probably 35-40 foot from me. I made a little bracket, just welded up a little bracket here to hold it on the wall. And I labeled it H2O. And I think this thing will be a good addition to the shop. You never can be too careful. And you got to remember if there's a fire that involves oil or gasoline, you would want to use a dry powder extinguisher like I have down here on my welding cart somewhere. There it is, tucked in there. So, guys. I'm Double Wide Six. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And as always, have a good day.